Good morning students and have a nice day. Today we will be talking about a new topic in the area of chemistry which is types of chemical reaction and by the way I am your teacher for today and I am Raphael P. Inson. Okay so before anything else, may I request all of you to please stand up for a word of prayer. And let us pray. Our most gracious love and kind Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for having us here today. Thank you for the knowledge, the wisdom, and thank you for the blessings that we have received this day, O Lord. And help us to... Um, understand more with our uh, topic for today and please uh, ask all O oh Lord and forgive us all our sins in Jesus name we pray amen okay so <laughs> good morning once again and before you take your seats as student uh, kindly arrange your chairs properly and see to it that your places are well organized and distraction free Okay, so you may not take your seat and ready for our lecture. For the checking of your attendance, uh, is anyone absent today? Very good, there is none. No absent for today. So, yesterday, we have a short review before we start because yesterday we discussed about uh, writing and balancing chemical equation. I'm pretty sure that today, now, you will define what is chemical equation. Yes, Angelou. That is a correct answer, Angelou. Because in addition to that, chemical equation illustrates the formulas and quantities of reactants and products in a chemical reactions so in other words in the chemistry major the this is the language of the chemistry wherein they use the symbols or the chemical formulas of the substance what would be happening in internally of the atoms and molecules upon reactions and what would be the possible outcome or product so they could express very well when it comes to uh, using chemical symbol and since you mentioned about reactants and product may I call in Angela to differentiate between the two is there any difference between reactant and product okay Angela that is a correct answer you said that reactants are substances that start a chemical reaction and that is written on the left hand side while well, the products are the substances or substance that are produced in the reaction or given in the right hand side after the reactions or all have been uh, reacted. So remember, reactant always written in the left hand side and that is separated by an arrow and the product is always written on the right hand side and that is a standard uh, pattern or general pattern may I ask you Donatello once again why is it important for us to balance chemical equation yes you have a brilliant idea and that is a good and very correct answer you said that in balancing chemi chemical equation we need to follow the law of conservation of mass where in the number of atoms of each element in the reactant must be equal to the number of atoms of each element in the product. Meaning to say, we have to check and balance whatever or how many atoms should be presented in the reactant is automatically be balanced when it comes to the product so that we could in line with the law of conservation and mass of mass okay so that's the thing that you need in, uh, to remember as always 
Choose the pictures that illustrate chemical change and give evidence of the chemical change. Mm -hmm. As you can see in the pictures, these are all chemical reactions in everyday life that we encounter. And this is an example of chemical reactions in which photosynthetic reactions, rusting, baking, digestion, combustion, chemical batteries, fermentation, and washing of soap and wa with water are all example of a chemical change. When burning, yes, there is. Digestion, there is, of course. No? As we proceed, at the end of the lesson, you, the student, should be able to define a chemical reaction, identify the different types of chemical reaction, explain each types of chemical reactions, and give examples of chemical reactions they encounter in everyday life. As we proceed, or before we end with our topic, I hope that all of you could be able to um, comprehend based on these objectives. I have uh, here a question, sets of um, questions about that, uh, the picture that I would be uh, given to you. And that picture is, uh, another way, uh, what can you say about this picture? Hmm? Does anyone who would like to volunteer or will give an extra points? Yes, very well said. That picture is all about reaction of vinegar with the formula of acetic acid and the baking soda or in the presence of sodium bicarbonate. And that, uh, that um, substance has uh, mixed together and they, when they mix together, they would form a new product, and that is sodium acetate, water, or carbon dioxide. When these two combine together, of course, small bubbles form. As you can see in the picture, that bubbles indicates that there is a liberation of carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. So that is an example of a chemical change. Another thing is, that uh, rusted iron. Now, when iron is exposed to oxygen, of course, iron reacts to, to oxygen, and there is a chemical change happening in there because it would form a new product, which is um, an iron of oxide or ferric oxide, it could be possible. And the brownish color is an indication that there is a chemical change or the change of color but remember changes of color in chemical change is not always reliable that uh, there is a chemical change when there is a change in color because sometimes it must it must be a uh, tricky or confusing because there are physical change that uh, changes in color but no uh, chemical reaction takes place so that is um, not really um, Recommended indication that there is chemical change when there is a change in color. Okay, digestive system. Your digestive system, our digestive system, as we put food in our mouth, there is an enzyme in our saliva that we called it salivary amylase. That this enzyme helps to break down the sugar and other carbohydrates into simpler form that our body can absorb. If you eat uh, large molecules, you chew food, rice, etc., whatever kind of food, meat, etc., um, initially it would be broken down to smaller pieces um, uh, in our mouth, and totally, because of the presence of this enzyme in salivary amylase, it would be totally grinding and, of course, putting down into smaller, smaller molecules until this large molecule from that uh, present and that certain food will broken down the simpler one and utilized by our trillions of cells in our body which in effect we are capable of doing things that we need and uh, want to do because of the food that we intake we have that energy okay and that is chemical change happen the types of chemical reactions number one is the combination reaction 
And this kind of reaction is when two or more reactants combine to form single product. So the, in other word, please guys, students, that in combination reaction, we have two or more reactant or substances joined together to form one single product. Having this general formula, A plus B forming AB. With the best example of one mole of carbon solid uh, upon reacted with one mole of uh, oxygen gas to form one mole of carbon dioxide gas. So we have as one product which is CO2 and two substances which is the carbon and oxygen. Okay, let's try, let's try another example. What will be the product? of nitrogen and hydrogen hydrogen gas uh, when combined together what do you think okay that's correct answer when nitrogen gas combined with um, hydrogen gas it would form ammonia or NH3 number two type of chemical reactions we have the composition reaction in this reaction a single reactant breaks down into simpler ones wherein two or more products could be um, really possible form and this is the reverse of the combination reactions which is the number one and with this general formula on one single product to form two or more products best example is the two moles of mercury oxide solid and two moles of mercury solid and oxygen gas no the mercury solid oxide uh, broken down into two different substances and it does follow the decomposition reaction next is the substitution reaction it is also called a single displacement reaction wherein in these reactions a more active element replaces a less active element in the compound so it's an elimination <laughs> the best with the general formula a plus a, b c to form a c plus b so take note in the b c that is the compound molecule wherein the B represents the cation is being replaced B with this element A to form AC and B. The best example if um, iron solid and we have the copper sulfate in which since the copper is being replaced with the iron then it would form um, ferric sulfate uh, ferric plus if A3 no? and copper solid so that's substitution reaction the last one type of chemical reaction is the double displacement reaction it is characterized by uh, an exchange of ions between the two compounds with this uh, general formula AB plus CD to form AD plus CB wherein each cut ion in each molecule is being interchanged with each other. Hmm? And the best example is sodium chloride aqueous and silver nitrate aqueous. Take note with the silver nitrate, this uh, could cause uh, stain when it is uh, placed in your uniform or whatever body it would remain a very staining object. That's one of the component of indelible ink or whatever, the, the, the darkest color. And take note, they form sodium nitrate and silver chloride. Okay. Write in, to develop your mastery, you may write the products of each chemical reaction, indicate their type of reactions and balance the chemical equation. Lithium chloride, yeah, those are for the example. And an answer for letter A is Li, the combination reaction for letter C. I know the, the copper, that is what it is COCO3, copper carbonate. Copper carbonate, yes. 
and that is decomposition reaction from a uh, copper oxide and the carbon dioxide and we have sodium for in a uh, copper chloride uh, for letter C and that is single replacement and letter E double displacement uh, so those are the four types of chemical reactions. And now, may I ask you, will you give some examples of chemical reactions you encounter in your everyday life from day to day, aside from the pictures that I've shown you earlier? Does anyone? Yes, is, that is correct. You said that soap emulsifies grime, which means oily stains bind to the soap so they can be lifted away with water. That's a good idea, Maricar. Yes, Peter, that's a correct answer. You said that when brushing your teeth using toothpaste, you toothpaste remove the stains in your body through chem chemically, and that's the best example of chemical change. Oh, Andrea, that is a correct answer. You said that when an acid neutralizes by using its uh, basic ingredients to react with the acids in the mouth, neutralizing the negative effect of the acid in the mouth, that's still part of... Um, you supported the brushing of teeth, no? And the last one is the frying with unsaturated oils. So, uh, hydrogenations of oil can occur, and this can produce trans fatty acids, which are not good for our uh, health. Take note that uh, from cis to trans fatty acids, uh, trans fatty acids is uh, carcinogenic and could cause cancer. So be careful of uh, reusing oil uh, again and again and again, no Recyc uh, reuse, oh. avoid that. Okay, for the generalization, a chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances, the reactants are converted to one or more different substances, which is the product. The different types of chemical reactions are combination of reactions, decomposition reactions, single displacement reactions, and double displacement reaction. So for your evaluation, I have an att attached um, separate sheets of paper for that. And for your additional activities and remediation, we may answer the following question correctly. Please uh, put it in your notebook. Question number one, what are the different factors affecting reaction rates? What do you think? Um, give clue, maybe temperature, is it? Pressure, is it? Um, try to answer with that. And number two, explain each factor briefly. Well, that's the end of our presentation for types of chemical reaction. Thank you. I hope that you learn a lot. If you did not yet subscribe to my channel, please click the notification bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click Ninja Rafa Colony. Student, please watch this video because this is really for you. I made this for just for you because I want you to learn a lot more though it is pandem pandemic today, no? So I made something that you would, an alternative, though the, there is no face-to-face -face interactions, but through this video, I'm pretty sure that you would learn a lot. Thank you, God bless, and more power.